Quarterbacks are always the hot topic in football, whether it be at the Combine or in our own backyard here in New York City. So they're the cool kids. And joining us to talk about the cool kids and all their storylines is New York Post Ryan Dunleavy. Ryan, you just got back from the Combine. Uh, there are people out there or there are people out there who are saying uh, or calling Will Levi's cocky. You got a chance to watch him. You got a chance to talk to him at the combine. What's your opinion on the kid? And you think that that cocky label can hurt or help his drive stock? I thought you were going to introduce me as one of the cool kids, Brandon. <laughs> You're cool enough. Cool enough, <laughs> kid. <laughs> Here, here's what I'd say about Will Levis is he um, certainly presented a swagger at the podium when he said, I have a cannon and that's why I'm working out. I want to show it off. When he said he wants to be the greatest of all time, he wants to win more than anybody. Uh, but you know what? I like that. I, I like that swagger. Mahomes has that swagger. Burrow has that swagger. This isn't, you know, 1990 anymore. It's okay to have some personality. So uh, I like it. I think uh, he showed off a lot of his skills. And look, when I, I have one guy I talk to regularly, a, a, a scout in the NFL who's excellent at quarterbacks he saw a lot of the rankings in the last couple of years he got them dead accurate so I asked him what do you think of this year's class and he said best quarterback for right now is Bryce Young best quarterback for the future is Will Levis that was all I needed to hear he's got all the prototypes they say he can take in a lot of information which is good in today's offensive world uh, to me I think he's got the, the traits the work ethic the swagger and the uh, information retention. I think that checks all the boxes for me. And that's funny because you say all that, he sounds like he should be a Jet. They could use that type of uh, swagger and humbleness. Uh, and the Jets missed out on Derek Carr. Obviously, he's a, a New Orleans Saint now. So what does this mean for the Jets? It means all or nothing, really. I mean, mm. it, it's, a, it's a scary proposition if you're a Jets fan because you could be having a celebration if you get Aaron Rodgers. And look, don't don't be fooled. It is a celebration if you get Aaron Rodgers. He comes with drama. He's 39 years old, et cetera, et cetera. He's a four-time MVP. He can still play at a high level. You have all the weapons to make him successful. Celebrate. Go dance in the streets if you get Aaron Rodgers, no matter what draft picks you give up. But the nothing, man, is so scary. I tweeted earlier today, you can just smell and maybe this is the Jets pessimist in in me. You can just smell a quarterback room of Zach Wilson, Mike White, and Marcus Mariota or Andy Dalton or some other recycled uh, third or fourth year, you know, uh, backup, you know, Jameis Winston, <laughs> one of those guys that we've seen enough from to know he's the 40th best quarterback in the NFL, not the third or fourth. So it, it's a very much an all or nothing for the Jets. And that's crazy because someone on the SNY sales team downstairs earlier today before the Derek Carr news even broke said, don't be surprised if Mike White is the starter next year on opening day. So that's something uh, to keep an eye on. All right, let's take it to East Rutherford. Daniel Jones's reps are going to the Giants facility today to continue with negotiations. Do you think that a new deal is going to come before tomorrow's trade deadline? I'm tag deadline. Yes, I do. I, I, I think... When push comes to shove, it will. I think it's probably, it's certainly far from a conclusion. I think it's a good sign that after they didn't get anything done in Indy, the talks are continuing and the reps are going to the Giants versus the other way around. So, uh, yeah, I think, look, I think it's on Daniel Jones's side now to budge a little bit from they started at, you know, 45 million, then he switched agencies. He went up to 48 million. Those numbers were never going to happen but it's certainly time for them to budge a little bit to get this uh, to get this deal done. Or he can play on the tag, he can go out and prove it again, and he might have to do it without Saquon Barkley if he's on the tag, which is a scary proposition for him and for Giants fans. All right, you just schooled us. See, Ryan Dunleavy, you are a cool kid. <laughs> Tell the guys I went to high school with. Uh, we shall, we shall. Uh, thanks for joining us, Ryan. Thanks, Brandon.